Hey everybody, it's Aaron. Today we're going to be talking about the application Digsby. What Digsby is, is basically an IM client or a social networking client that allows you to converse with people from Google, Facebook, Yahoo, MSN, a whole bunch of other applications. It's kind of cool because it really handles everything in one spot for you. So what we're going to do is we're just going to go to Google, type in Digsby and hit enter. You'll see it's the very first link. Go ahead and click and then if you just go into the free download, once you do that just choose your operating system, download and install the application. Not terribly challenging. Once you start the application, Digsby is going to require you to create an account. Just set up an account with an email address, a login name, a password, whatever. Very, very easy to set up. Now once you have the application, you'll notice that you're going to have, down here at the bottom of the corner, for example, you'll see I have it configured for Gmail and I have Digsby itself. If I double click Digsby, what it's going to do, it's going to show all the people that are currently online. Now you'll notice next to each person will show a little icon to which network they're part of. So you can see these are all Google Talks. You can tell by green that they're all online. Orange says that they've been online recently, but they're not online right now. We'll notice down here that we've got Facebook friends. These are all the people that are currently logged into Facebook. So I actually have the ability to chat with people without actually having to log into Facebook. Now let's go ahead and set up the configuration of this to show you how to do it. So all we're going to do is we're going to go into Digsby and we're going to go into My Accounts. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to configure my accounts. You'll notice right now I've got my Google Talk account, I've got my Facebook account, and I've got my Gmail account. So let's say if I wanted to add a, another IM account, you can see this covers AIM, MSN, Yahoo, Google Talk, ICQ, Jabber, and Facebook. It's very simple. Click which one you want. Let's say Facebook. Put in your email and your password. Auto login. Save. Boom. It, it's going to auto log in every time. Same thing with email. You got Gmail, Yahoo, Hotmail, Popmail, IMAP, AOL, really whatever you want. Same thing. Click it. Enter in your user ID. Enter your password. Hit save. Social networking is the same. You can do your Facebook, your MySpace, your Twitter, your LinkedIn. You can do everything from the single application. Once you've gone in, like I have, and added your Google Talk, your Facebook, and your email accounts, you'd be able to go back to the tool, and like I said, with just the chat portion of the application, you can simply cursor over somebody's name. From here, I can send them an, I, an IM, I can send them files, I can send them an email. Let's say I wanted IM Richard, I could double click and say, hey, uh, Richard, or I could spell. Richard right now is actually at school, so let's see if he responds back. But it's very simple, as you can see. Um, same thing with Facebook, is I could go down here. Uh, you can see Mark Simon's online right now. I can say, hey, uh, that will send an uh, IM instant message to Mark Simon. He'll be able to respond back to me, no problem whatsoever. Uh, the other cool part of this application I really like is you probably saw when I cursor over this, I'm able to go to email. This is actually going to open up like a minimized version of Gmail or whatever email client you've set up. So at this point, I could go ahead and choose, you know, if I wanted to send it to, let's send it to somebody else. Let's send it to you. Let's send it to Bree. So I can go in here and say, this is, is a test. Hello. And I can go down here and click send. I can actually send an email directly from this client without having to load up Gmail, go in there and configure, or I'm sorry, compose the email. It just really just takes some time out of it. Um, down here as well, you'll notice there's a little envelope. If this envelope, if I actually had messages, oh, here we go. So Richard just, re or Angela just responded back to me. She probably saw that I had sent a text to Richard. Um, but also you'll notice down here at this little message, if I was to click this, it would show me any email items that I have. I could click inbox. By clicking inbox, it's going to launch my um, the Internet Explorer, Firefox, whatever my default, default web browsing application is. And from here, I'd be able to see that information. As you can see, um, Digsby is a really neat application. Again, I really like that it combines everything into one place. I can set up accounts for everybody from all the different social networking sites. Um, it really simplifies things a lot to not have to log in each one. And I just wanted to show everybody how it works. Thanks. Let me know if you have any questions.